All right, guys, I'm Weston Stockard. I'm here to present to you about media, um, especially social media in this presentation. So we have enough time to get through everything I would like to talk and discuss. So let's talk about media in its simplest form. The media companies are among the biggest businesses that drive the US economy. Their main exports are information and entertainment, which we all love and need. Um, their profits and losses are often um, followed closely by investors in the stock market so they can invest and make money by buying and selling the stocks. So let's talk about the coverage. So coverage um, can be anything. It can be like the news, which is easy to talk about. Social media, our whole lives are on the internet nowadays with Instagram stories, Instagram posts, TikToks, Facebook, Twitter, everything. TV shows, they show current events, like in Grey's Anatomy, they did the coronavirus season. And in movies, they show a lot of different events, like in The Wolf of Wall Street, about the investing in the stock market and the crash and everything. But today, I want to primarily talk on social media, because we don't have a lot of time in this presentation, but I want to be able to get through everything that I need to talk and discuss about. So, why... What is social media in average terms? So, social media is an internet-based internet form of communication. Um, it allows users to have conversations, create web content, and share information. And this is stated by the University of South Florida, because their university, I believe they are creditable. So, what do sociologists define social media as? Social media network is a social structure made up of a set of social actors. This social actors part um, relates to the idea of dramaturgy, which as we talked about in class, is where everyone is a member in a play that we call society. And this play, this part of the play is the online part that we call social media. So, what are the social medias that are in the world today? Well, there's TikTok, that's a big one, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are the top six I have heard of and know, and I've even used all of them at some point. So, let's talk about a survey that I did. I surveyed my Instagram and Snapchat followers, and I got 37 responses. It's not a lot, it's enough for a baseline though. Um, 45.9% of people said they use TikTok the most of their social media platforms. 42 point, or 43.2% of people use Snapchat the most. And 10.8% use Instagram the most. Which, that shocks me that only 10.8% use Instagram the most. I would have thought it would be a little bigger and these would be a little smaller. But I really did not see any of the other ones on the list. So, why is TikTok most popular? Well, TikTok uses an AI, and it'll determine what you like to watch. Um, this AI looks at how many times the video will repeat before you swipe. It looks at how many likes you give certain types of content, what comments you look at and read and leave on certain posts as well as it just looks at your followers and the hashtags everyone uses to determine um, what you'd like to watch. So if you like to watch sports, you would be pushed a lot of sports content. And that's why I think social media is so popular, or TikTok is so popular because it caters to your own audience or your own views and stuff. So the effect of TikTok, because it's the most popular, TikTok is the one we're gonna talk about the most right here. So TikTok consumes everyone's time, um, at least its users. Many people I know that watch TikTok on a regular basis will start scrolling and then they will not realize how much time has gone by um, before they stop. They will be on it for over an hour without seeing it's like 10 minutes. I personally do it all the time, it's really bad. Even when making this presentation, I kept getting on TikTok because I was bored. 
and didn't know what to do. So then it made the presentation take two to three times as long as it should have. So the effects on the time for social media. Um, just like before how I talked about TikTok consuming your time, um, I believe all social medias do that because they're all addicting and people love to see and watch them. So I decided to poll everyone, all those 37 responses, and I want to know how much time a week they think they use social media for. Um, the most were tied at 31 or 35.1%. That was five to 10 hours a week and 10 to 15 hours a week, which I thought 10 to 15 would be more, but I guess if you're just guesstimating, it's, you're probably gonna guess less. But I was a little confused that 8.1% still thought one to three hours a week, because it's not that many, and I think most people use it a lot more than that. So, yeah. So communication. Snapchat, in my poll I decided to ask what people use the most to communicate. A lot of people like to use Snapchat the most. Um, I believe this is because of a couple reasons. The two biggest would be this little symbol, which are snap streaks, and I will get back to this, and snap scores, which is this number. This number will tell you how many snaps you sent and how many you received, and that's why I think people like to look at it because they like to know their statistics and like to have little competitions with their friends. Personally, in high school, me and my friends want to see who sent the most Snapchats every week. I went a lot of the time, not to brag, but I think they're pretty funny. They're pretty fun at the same time. And then the streaks. Those are a idea or concept where two people will send each other a photo on Snapchat, and if you send it to each other, the your Snap score or your Snap streak will raise up by one every day. And people just like to get those because then it's a fun little competition with yourselves to try and keep the thing alive. Also, people don't like the green bubbles. I hate the green bubbles. It's kind of lame. That's why a lot of people like to use Snapchat, because then you don't have to worry about these in a group chat when people have Androids or whatever. The blue is a lot more calming and easier to read even. So, is it good or bad? So I believe social media is a good thing. And I believe that because it's helped everyone be able to communicate with each other and those that they love. I was a little shocked that 16.2% of people thought that it was not a good thing because to me, that's a little like, what are you doing then? Because you're not being, you're not communicating as much if you aren't using it. So yeah. And here are my sources that I've used. I didn't know how to cite my survey, but there's a link if you want it.